Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about this pre-made fake scalp wig. Now, I'm going to be honest with you. I was a little bit skeptical. I was a little bit hesitant to even apply this wig because I'm a perfectionist and I like to do things like myself. I just feel like the best way to get something done right is to do it yourself. So I'm usually the one that likes to bleach my knives and customize my legs and install my wigs, curl it, flat iron it. I do everything myself because I just feel like I'm really peculiar or like I'm really particular. Like I like things done a specific way. And so I was just like a little bit like out of my comfort zone with this wig. I really wasn't even going to like accept the review because I'm like, wow, like mm, it's got a fake scalp on there. I don't know if it's going to blend with my scalp. Just a lot of questions that I just had and I was just really like hesitant. But I'm so glad that I just stepped out of my comfort zone because it's 2020 and that's what this year is all about. Like leaving your comfort zone, growth, you know, improving, enhancing, trying new things. So that's exactly what I did with this wig. I stepped out of my comfort zone and I fell in love with it. Like, just look at it, y'all. The wig is from a company called So Good Hair. This is my second time reviewing a wig from their company. I've loved every single texture um, that I've gotten so far simply because it's like really thick and really full. And I just don't feel like it ever disappoints. So, the particular wig that I'm wearing is a pre made fake scalp wig. It's 13 by 6, which means that it has 6 inches six inches of parting space and it is a frontal wig it comes with two clips right here it's not a clip right here but it's a clip at the back so um, let's talk about what comes in the box guys so i'm going to insert a clip of like the actual fake scalp and how it looks because it does come with like a bra strap elastic band type of thing if you know what i'm talking about like you know what i'm talking about um and it also came with one that you can install yourself. I really like the raw stop method because you can adjust it to your liking. It came with a, well, two wig caps. And I love that it was like this color because it really lets like the foundation blend in with my skin, you know? It's not my particular scalp color, but it's like an easy mix. So I can just put my foundation and it just looks like it's real. And it also comes with some eyelashes. Y'all, if y'all know from the last video when I talked about eyelashes, I was kind of like, bruh, what are these? But they step, like these companies are stepping up. I think these are legit some minks, you know? Um, I may give them to my mom. She may wear them. Just saying. It does come with some hair and care information on the back. And I like that it's like not wasting paper printing off a brochure or whatever so i guess they're trying to save the trees i'm all for it you know what i mean it gives you all the social media information instagram facebook youtube um it gives you their mail address and their telephone number so i just feel like the packaging was legit so um like i stated in the beginning i am one who bleaches my knots and i also customize my hairline so for this particular wig i didn't have to do any of that so since it had the fake scalp it was like literally no need to bleach anything honestly and i'm going to show y'all how the scalp looks um so as y'all can see on the screen it shows that it's like the fake scalp and then it has like a little bit like an inch or so of just like lace i wanted mine to blend in with my skin like even more so i went ahead and used my foundation this is the Smashbox Studio Skin uh, 15 Hour Wear Hydrating Foundation. Um, a lot of people use powder foundations when they put it on their lace. I use liquid because I just feel like it kind of like seeps into my skin more. I don't know. And for one, I don't use powder foundation. Like I don't own a powder foundation. So I just decided to use my liquid. And I just feel like it gives it that even more natural look. If you are in the market for a wig that's very low maintenance, I would recommend this wig completely because you don't have to bleach the knots, you don't have to customize it. All that comes done for you. You don't even have to install an elastic band because that comes with it also. So if you're like a 
person who like to throw their wigs on or like glueless type of person this wig is definitely for you let's talk about some pros and some cons so which one do y'all want to hear first let's talk about the cons because it's not that many so a con or something that i just really did not like about this wig is that it's no definite curl you know what I mean? I usually come on my channel um, talking about these like kinky curly, Brazilian curly, like deep wave type of hair. Well, this is a loose wave. So the curls are not as detailed or as like, you know, highlighted as I would like them to be. It's more like a truly like a loose wave. You see what I'm saying? Like it's not defined at all. And it looks kind of big, but you know, if you tame it a little bit, you know, slick some gel on it and you know, brush it down like, you know tie it down it'll stay flat but for the main part it's not really like a flat type of wig and that's why i didn't like because it was hard to like manipulate for me you know because i'm used to like curly hair like you know curly hair that's defined defined curls not anything that's you know loose another kind um i wouldn't say this is like bad or anything it is a kind but it's not bad it's a kind to me um the hair is not really for me, tameable, I feel like that relates to the last one I just said. Because it's so loose and it's so like free flowing and wild, the ends tend to tangle. You see? Like, for the most part, I brushed it out. But if you just don't put anything on it, if you just leave it alone, I feel like it does get tangled easily. It doesn't shed, it just gets like tangled. And I don't know why. Maybe it's something I put on there. But, you know. Just gotta be honest with you guys. Let's move to the pros. So a pro is that the knots are already bleached. It comes with a face scalp so you don't have to... So the knots are already bleached uh, plus the fake scalp. So like it just, you know, that's just like a pro in itself. Like you don't have to bleach the knots. You don't have to bleach the knots. That's, that's wild to me. Like what? I gotta bleach the knots? That's kind of crazy. Um, it comes pre-plugged so you don't have to customize that's also a process that takes a little bit so the fact that it's already done I just feel like it's like a big win it's 13 by 6 which means that this parting space is insane I've had wigs that were like 13 by 2 13 by 4 and I was like struggling because I was like bruh it stopped right here like that's like no parting space but this one is 13 by 6 Y'all can see it for yourselves. This is not even the deepest, like. I got a clip right here because it won't stay flat. But um, yeah, so it's not the deepest. Let me just show y'all some more. I don't really want to mess it up. You can part it anywhere. That parting space is really immaculate. I love it. So I know it's not more than $200, it's probably not even $200, but I'm going to insert the price in the description box and on the screen when I edit because I just can't remember the price off the top of my head. So let's run it back, let's run it back guys. It is low maintenance, comes with a fake scalp, pre-plucked, and an elastic band that is already added. I just don't know where you could go wrong getting this wig, you feel me? Oh, I forgot to talk about the length. So the length that I am wearing is 20 inches and I am 5'4". So that's pretty long. Um, for it to be loose wave, I feel like it's really thick. So the company told me that I did need to use the stocking cap method, but I'm just like a creature of habit. And the stocking cap method is not only to make it look more realistic, but it's also to protect my edges. So if you're not familiar with the stocking cap method, I think I have a video on it. Also, you can just um, YouTube it. So many people do the stocking cap method and it's beneficial for your edges because like if you don't use a stocking cap or like a cap at all and you're using glue, yeah, you can pull out your edges. And I need my edges, guys. I need my edges. We need our edges. You know what I'm saying? So now I'm just going to zoom in. And I just want y'all to look at the freaking fake scalp aspect of the wig. So if you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys in my next video.